Little Mountain, Utah. We are finally in spring. It is the first week of April. We've made it through winter. We still have all of our cows. Nothing we got sick. No illnesses. Everything's looking good. We are currently heading to this field right here to my right so we can get planting. I have the 4320 hooked up to our liquid fertilizer tank so we can fill our tractor and our planter, I mean, because we do have a new planter. Um, some issues come up with our John Deere, our seven row planter, and we just weren't going to make it work. So we decided to upgrade here late January and bought a, another planter. Um, it's a different brand, a brand well, I'm not too familiar with. Usually John Deere and Case are about the two. This brand here is blue. And it's actually going to be a really nice planter for the farm. So I'm looking forward to it. It has a liquid fertilizer uh, tanks on there instead of the dry. Well, this will be a new change. So other than that, any other updates? We have the hay bales. We moved through quite a bit of them. Uh, feeding through the winter. We're going to be doing the first cutting here probably in a couple weeks. Manure, we did haul some out of the little pasture here. Um, we haven't spread any yet because we didn't want to do that with the snow. And we were waiting until we were planting so we can put some fertilizer. So, but other than that, um, see over here we have the Chevy hooked up to the spray cedar and we are going to be that's already filled up ready to go and we are going to be using this new planter this year so this is a little bit bigger than what we had we had a seven roll before i don't know if you guys remember that or not so this planter i mean we don't have a whole lot of workable land that we are actually planting but this kins 3600 series planter is going to do the trick and we couldn't pass up the price this is used this is not brand new this is used um but we picked it up for fifty five thousand. so and we sold the other one for 12. so we didn't do too bad on it so we are going to be trying this out this is the first time it just got delivered the other day and then we had it by the shop here so we can go through and grease everything um, but it's, I mean, it's pretty much brand new from what I t was told. We bought it at an auction and I guess the farmer was there. So anyway, we are going to get the 7R hooked up here to the new planter. And hopefully we'll start planting here by at least nine o'clock. So we have everything ready to go. I mean, there's literally nothing else to do. We're going to start with that field that we just dropped off at 4320. Well, everything looks like, yeah, it's hooked up right. That's a good start. Oh, I'm excited to use this. Let's turn our flashers on. And as we progress, guys, and get more fields, more land, we will probably go up in planters. Um, not sure if we're going to go with the John Deere or what offers. We are going to try to buy used. We don't want brand new just because I don't feel like we're going to make that much money here in the farm. We're going to be enough to basically, you know, pay the light bill and stuff like that. I mean, right now we have 27000 And we can always sell bales too if we had to. We have some extra hay bales there that we could always sell for profit. Then we're going for about 100 a bale, so... We could always sell a few of them. This planter looks pretty nice. This is definitely new for me. And I'm hoping that it's going to save us a little bit of time planting. Alright, I'm going to get the truck. Alrighty, we are in the Chevy. I know it looks kind of like a mess. We got everything over here and I'm all doing it myself. Um, 
definitely in the future we're going to be buying something where we can have our liquid fertilizer and our seed all in one shot so we don't have to worry about doing all this but we're not worried about that right now so i am going to move this over here doesn't really matter unfold the pipe here and i'm going to drive the tractor right to it okay Don't need our flashers on. Let's see, I don't think I have to unfold. I might have to unfold. Let's just do that anyway. The blue and green, it doesn't really look that great, though, to be honest. Uh, more like a New Holland would be really nice pulling this. But I'm not going to complain. This planter is 20 years newer than the one that we had. And it's still used, so... <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, let's open up our back lids here. I should be able to just drive. Oops. Yeah, I'm going here. And it should just out oh, right there, I think. And I got to get in the truck, I suppose. And we'll move that. That'll be something like that, maybe here there we go right now she's filling perfect well that pretty much emptied the totes that we had <laughs> so I guess we have one more pioneer tote and then we have four more skids or pallets of seeds that we can dump into here um, but this is a 134 bushel, so a pretty big planter compared to the other one. The other one only hold, I think it was like 8 or 9 bushel. So we should, I don't even know if we're going to be filling up doing this field. We might not even have to worry about it. I'm sure liquid fertilizer we will. It all depends on how we go through. Now we're filling our liquid fertilizer tanks in the front here and then our seeds in the back. And then we are going to get to planting. We are going to spread manure on this field. Um, here probably end of April here. And fertilize it. And we will be doing our liquid herbicide and all that. As well we'll be adding it. We'll be taking care of this crop. Being that we want to make as much profit as we can on it. To pay back the loan that we had out to buy this field. So yeah, we got 29 bushels left. So we're going to park on the other side of the road. I mean, I do know my neighbor, so he will not mind. So I don't have to worry about driving in the fields. All right, well, it looks like we are full pretty much. Corn, we could have went a little bit. We were about 5% off from being 100% in the tanks, but not sure if I, didn't, if I should have moved it or not, but... We are going to do our end passes here. Probably go up and down at least twice. It is a little bit of a bigger planter. And with the tracker, I don't want to come into the traffic. This highway seems to be pretty busy. So we are going to fire this up for the first time on the farm. And see what we got here. Vacuums are on. Everything is looking good. And I'm curious to see how much seed we are going to be going through. My precision farming, I do have that on automatic, so it's just all depends on soil. And it's going to look better too with all these weeds in here that was driving me crazy here the last couple weeks. Waiting to get some nicer weather to plant. Having to look at the seeds, or the weeds. It was irritating. I'm going to back up and get this corner. And I want to get as close to the fence as I can. It's looking really good. I did get out and check the depth and everything. We are perfect on that. We don't need to set everything. 
the guy that was um, actually at the auction that was had this there, he had a few other implements there, and uh, he actually said that everything was set up. So we all we had to do was grease it and pretty much put it in a field, and he is correct on that. Go back her up and get this piece here, and then we're gonna go up and down and get the other end. This side here, we're only going to go up and down once, being that our neighbor's field here is not planted. So, if we overlap in this field, it's not going to be a big deal. I know the guy very well, and he's not going to complain. So, we're just going to go down once and then head back and basically go up and down. So, it looks like so far we've used, what, 6% in the tank as far as seeds. Which is pretty good because the other planter would have been almost empty already just doing this little bit of stuff. So this is definitely going to save us a lot of time and hopefully, honestly, money. So we are going to now just go up and down. We did have GPS running. I know it's a nice square field, but it is nice to get everything perfect. And I didn't have the side markers on, so I just figured why not? It makes it nice and easy. We still have 74 bushel of corn seeds left, and we're just under half for liquid fertilizer. So we have a little bit left in that tank over there, and I think we're gonna be fine I'm not sure if we're gonna have we don't have really a whole lot left to plant uh, unfortunately but we're gonna go until we're low so we want it as empty as possible being that this is the only thing we're planting this year is just a little bit of corn so we don't want to have to transport and clean out a lot and waste it so the goal is to keep as much or less than there as possible and this traffic this is what I was talking about being so busy it just never it just never ends sometimes you just gotta pull out there and hope to god that you don't get hit with this next patch we'll do the one by the shop and oh you would stop right in front of me anyway we are going to do this field next to uh, the shop here this little small patch um, I'm not sure if we're even going to harvest that for um, corn. I think we might just do um, a little bit of silage with that. Being that we are going to be playing around with silage bags here on this next cutting. We'll do some bales, um, but most of it will be going into some chopper boxes. It's going to be quite the experience. We are leasing all the equipment and we will go more in depth when we get to that episode. With this Kinsey planter, my first thoughts, basically planting that field over there, it is well worth the money that we paid. You can run at least, I think I had it 11 miles per hour, which is impressive compared to our other one with about four. 
and didn't miss a beat. So it was perfect. No issues with row cleaners or nothing like that. This ground here is a little bit, gonna have a little bit more of a challenge for the planter. We did spread manure on here last fall, so it's dried up pretty good. We did coat it pretty good, so the row cleaners will definitely have a little bit. As you can see there's chunks spread out throughout the field. But this one here is a nice easy little square field. We're just basically going to go around once and then up and down. It might not even be worth doing that, but... Alright, so we're going to finish this little field. And we're going to get all of our equipment back to the farm that we got over in that first field. So we are in this last little field here. It's only a couple acres, nothing too crazy. We definitely did not use as much seed as I thought we were gonna. So our application was putting it down pretty good. The seed rate flowed. It, you're gonna save a little bit with these newer planters too. The old one that we had, we were, I feel like, losing more than we were gaining. Um, it didn't hold much and it just wasn't putting it out like it should. But we weren't also having you know 20 acres of corn and stuff like that so it was perfect for operation but now we advanced a little bit with some new land and now we need the equipment to make up for it but hopefully in the future we can buy something a little bit bigger and maybe expand a little bit more with land we do have some opportunities around us we just can't afford it right now being that our loan is pretty high so I don't want to buy, but I have the potential to buy another 30 acres by us. It's a mile, exactly a mile from the farm. And this just come up for sale. But I think we are going to hold off on that. And try to make it through and see what we get in return. We don't have a whole lot invested. As far as... Uh, planting and stuff like that. Our seeds were bought prior to season so we didn't actually pay a whole lot for them. We buy them off season and you get a better deal through your co-op. Just hit stop for a second. There we go. Yeah, so we won't have a whole lot left in this planter by the time we're done planting so it'll be perfect. We can roll that out of here and clean this out and that's the fun part at least that's what i hear anyway with this planter is taking apart when you're done planting but we're hoping to get a, four, a few more beef cows at least that's the plan anyway right now we have a hundred strong and we're hoping to up our feed at least by another 80 this year so that's another big thing that's going to happen. Um, we might be selling some bales on our second crop. It might be all bales that we sell. We, I'm not sure quite exactly what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing something so we can make a little money. Um, right now, with only 27000 in the bank, yeah, that's not bad, but you know, at 2500 ahead for a cow, it's it adds up quick, and you're not getting a whole lot. So We do have some leftover bales that we could sell. I don't know if we get the 80 to 100 per bale but we could try selling them and make a little extra money but we're going to need something big maybe some side jobs it's all up in the air right now anything to expand the farm without selling stuff is the goal i mean i have a couple pieces of property here that i could potentially rent 
but the contract is always something that worries me um, I'd rather just try to own it or borrow the money and buy it than to rent it you always run into issues with that it seems like so let's get this little patch up here and then we are officially done planting for the year it's only a couple hours what four hours it took us to do that which ain't surprising being that we don't have a whole lot so we're gonna fold the planter up here and head back to the farm and that's pretty much gonna wrap up this episode I appreciate you guys for watching catch us on the next one we're gonna be probably looking at some new interesting stuff on the farm when we do our first cutting of crop it's gonna be pretty cool I'm excited to do that here and hopefully next week that'll be out I appreciate you guys for watching. Cody Farms out.